Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson again, and tonight we'll be focusing on Lesson 1.2, which is solving multi-step equations. So if you look at the objectives here, we're going to solve multi-step, we're going to use them in real life, and try to model things using them as well. The first core concept is just solving a multi-step equation. So the first thing is, each side of the equal sign, each expression on each side, must be in simplest form. If we look at the example that we're presented with here, which is 2.5x minus 13 is equal to 2, each side is already in simplest form. The left side, those are not like terms, because the first term has a variable with it, and the second term does not. And on the right side, it's just a number. So to solve this, we're going to use inverse operations. So to get x by itself, we first have to get rid of what's being subtracted from that term. So we're going to add 13 to both sides. Now we have 2.5x is equal to 15. Now to get x by itself, we're using what we did on the one step, and we're going to divide both sides by 2.5. And when we do that, we get x is equal to 6. And again, if you need to use a calculator to figure out 15 divided by 2.5, that would be acceptable. But again, our answer is x is equal to 6. Another example here, and if we look at this example, if you look at the right side of the equation here, there are terms that are alike that are not combined. So the first thing we need to do before we can use inverse operations is we have to combine like terms on the right side of the equal sign. So the like terms are the 2x terms that we have here, 9x minus 6x. And we're just, at, we're just subtracting those. 9x minus 6x is 3x plus 15. And on the left side, we still just have a negative 12. So now we're ready to solve. And again, this is just a two-step equation. We have to get rid of the constant first, so we're going to subtract 15 from each side. And we do that. Remember, if the signs are the same, because we're adding here, signs are the same, we add and keep, so that's a negative 27 equals 3x. And now we solve this by dividing both sides by 3, and we get x is equal to a negative 9. Remember, the answer is negative, as a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 